and welcome to part 5 of Project Firebird. I thought I'd give another update and actually show you a bit of flocking. Yes, a bit of flocking. But I've done a fair bit and uh, as you can see an awful lot has been done. So let's get on with it. The first thing I, I want to show you is I've now done I'll put the light on, I've now done the, the wheels. Um, as you can see, I put um, some Microsol uh, mask on, which is really good stuff, and that is here. That's that stuff there. I'm really getting to like this. It's good for getting in those little places, because on this this wheel, yeah, the whole wheel is um, silver, and this inner rim bit is actually gold. So what I've done is I've sprayed the whole wheel gold, and I've got some nice chrome coming, just waiting for it to be delivered, and. I put this mask, you just paint it on with a brush here, it's really, really nice stuff, I'll just show you, there you go, it's a bit like paint it is, but it takes 24 hours to dry, and when it's dry it's pretty solid, and then you, ju you just peel it off, just as, as, if it, as if it was masking tape, see if you can get in there, and as you can see, it's got a nice blue effect on it, and it actually shows out, uh, there's about three layers on there, and I've done this on all four wheels, and um, that's going to cover that area that's in gold so when I spray the whole lot it'll just peel off and I'll, and I'll have that nice um, uh, gold rim going around there and I, I wiped off the excess and that, I anticipate that will look very very nice you know and um, they've all been done like that so that's the f first, first one I've done I've also done a fair bit of detailing and as you can see it on both of the seats they're, they're now detailed out I've um, muddy them up a bit as well, so because it's just so they look like they've been used. And I'm really pleased with uh, how they've turned out, and they do fall down. And it's really, you know, I I, I gotta say to NPC that the level of detail is really good, you know. And um, you can just like picture yourself sitting in these, really, you know. So I can. Um, as you can see, I've started spraying the body. I've done, um, this is the um, uh, air scoop, or the ram scoop, or whatever they call it. The air actually comes in from this side. I watched, I've watched quite a few number of um, um, Trans Am videos now on how these cars work. But um, I, I ran out of uh, paint, so I've had to reorder it. But as you can see, the titanium gold effect is really nice. I'm really happy with the way it looks. And doing a black shiny undercoat has really helped to bring the shine through. Um, so we've also got the doors and I've got the door cards off to one side and as you can see the effect on the doors is really nice you know um, even on the mirror um, is really nice is I need to do a bit more spraying on the inside to get a bit more of um, the gold in there but other than that it's the doors look really nice and really effective you know and the, uh, another thing as well is with the doors there's nowhere really to um, hold them on when you're spraying them so that is just literally a bit of um, spur from um, the kit itself and I just cut it and then just glued it in there and so I've literally got something to, to hold on to and that's literally a five minute job and it saves you so much trouble as well and it's a really good idea so that's the doors And then, of course, we've got the bonnet. Um, really happy with how the bonnet looks. It looks really good, it does. Um, it's not very smooth at the moment. And I have given it a, a good sanding, and it just needs some more coats on it. It has dried very nice. And as you can see, the underside looks really good. Now, on the videos that I watched of the cars, yeah, this whole area is black. Um, I'm, I don't really want to paint it all black, yeah. I'm going to stick to my idea of just doing this area here black and having the rest of the, uh, the, the bonnet in the, um, the, the body colour which is more or less what I want you know at the end of the day this this is my model and I'm going to paint it how I want really and stay as close to the original car as possible but there will there will be some differences because it is my my model and my car like I always say to you guys you know at the end of the day you've paid money for this and if this is what you want, and if you want to, you know, make, make it look a certain way or a certain colour, then by all means do it, you know. So the next thing I've got is actually the, the, the car itself, yeah. I've, um, 
made some changes on this because when I was looking at the other cars I noticed that um, this area here is part of the wing and, and that was sprayed the same colour as the body um, MBC want you to spray it to MPC want you to spray it um, uh, black but after looking at the, um, some of the videos and some of the photos and it doesn't matter what colour the car is whether it's gold, silver, black and there was even a customised orange one this is a wing, these are wings here and, these, and that there is part of the wing so I literally masked all that off and the engine's all recovered and I know you want to see the engine guys and I will show it to you um, but not just yet so that area there will be sprayed the same colour and if we have a look at the car you, you can see the effect of the gold it really does look absolutely gorgeous it really is really nice and I'm really happy and pleased with the way that the gold is really brought brought out the, the whole colour underneath it, it needs more gold here and it needs more gold there um, but that's why I've got it on order and obviously you can see um, you know the, more the details here and that's where the the indicators are and they're all covered up because obviously we spent a lot of time spraying those and we don't want them um, sprayed up gold do we so and that's the same on all of them I've also masked off the rear end as well because that will be um, uh, black as well that will be um, uh, that's black as well that is and uh, so I've masked that off and when I take that off um, that'll be a nice black colour in this masked in there as well you know and obviously all this in here has been masked off because that's all interior colour as well the same as the body itself and looking at the front yeah it's you can see that the front is really it's really good and uh, the, the, the gold really is uh, setting it off um, I'll show you that I'll just quickly dig them out because I have actually done the glass now uh, where is it I've got it here so the glass has been done and I'm very pleased with how that um, has, has turned out um, so there we are there's the glass it's all nicely smoked now and there's all there's the two there for the sun visors and that's for the rear of the car and it, I'm really pleased with how they look and of course one would have to pour on the floor wouldn't it so there we go so that looks really good that does and that will sit pretty much that is going to sit on there like that and if you just imagine that on there that's going to look really good I'm really pleased with, with how that is looking and of course these being the sun visors these being the sun visors he says these will go literally on here like that and there's one for either side I'll just put those on there so one will go there like that and then the other one will go on there and you sort of get the idea there guys don't you you know and that will look really nice Oop. try and get it a bit more um, a bit difficult when uh, it's not glued down but you get the effect you get the idea there guys and that's how it will look so that will look really nice that will and then when it's got the bonnet on um, it's going to look uh, well it's going to look absolutely wonderful get it, oh there we go you can see it better now so that's it there and um, I was really pleased with the way that the smoke came out um, so I was really pleased with that I was, I was a bit worried that I might not go the way I wanted it to but it, it has done I am so very pleased with that you know we'll just put these back in their little bag because we don't want them to there it is we don't want them to um, get away from us oh while well, we're there and there's the front and, the, and there's the front and you can see how shiny that is and just that's with um, that technique that I showed you with the glass and it looks absolutely wonderful now it really does I'm so pleased with that and while we're here and that's for the rear and that will come more apparent when we put it all together so we're progressing along really well um, while I'm here I might as well show you the tyres I'll just show you the one all four of them are the same and um, these are the tyres I've now cut them off I've detailed them so you can see uh, I've graded them down a little bit so it looks like they've been used and they, they've been worn and I've put some lacquer on them as well to protect them and all four look the same and I just used some grey um, Tamiya panel line inking to uh, just get the effect of just them being worn really and I, it looks really effective as well and I'm really happy with the way that goes and what I'm going to do with that as well is uh, I've got some nice flat clear coming 
So I'll be spraying all that flat clear and that's going to really dull it down, take all the shine off it and make it look um, really used. And I'll, that'll give it a really nice um, tyre effect really, for better use of words. Okay, so moving on to the dashboard, I had some major problems with the dashboard. Um, I noticed in some of the films that, in some of the cars, that this upper area in here was, was painted black. So um, I masked all this off and then sprayed that black, but unfortunately I didn't mask it good enough. And it all leaked out and all the paint came along here and all that, and it just totally ruined it. I tried to save it, but it just got, the you know, by wiping off the excess with some um, Mr. Colour thinner. And, but, but the problem with that was it just took all the paint off and it got to the point where I was like, well, I might as well just strip the whole thing off and start again. So that's literally what I did. I also wasn't happy with the way um, the vents looked. I, I had these black and that handle there black, but it didn't look right. And when I referred back to the actual cars and the pictures and that, it also wasn't right. And although this is my model and I wanted to do it my way, um, having that black, that black, that and that, it just didn't look good and I wasn't happy with the way it looked so I stripped the whole lot off and started again and um, I'll probably spray this later on today and that's um, Microsoft mask in there as well because the, the only thing that is black on there is actually the radio uh, player or cassette player so that area in there is all sprayed and it's all cleared and it's all ready and all this is ready now for um, spraying of our primary colour I haven't got much of that left now, so just hopefully this will work. <laughs> but, you know, put that to one side. Oh, yeah, and of course, I'll bring it, I'll just bring it back, because I, that's the actual instrument panel. Let's see if I can get it up there. That's the actual instrument panel, and I've detailed that, and that looks absolutely wonderful. And that is gonna sit in there like that, you know? It's not sitting properly, because obviously there's masks in the way. And that's pretty much how it's gonna look with the steering wheel as well and um, I'm really pleased with uh, the way this model is turning out you know it, uh, I'm really happy with the, the progress I've made um, on, on, on this particular model okay so flocking now flocking is literally it's literally this stuff here if you, if you can just see it it's um, I do believe these are carpet fibres or furniture carpet you know and um, I buy these from um, off ebay from a beauty salon actually um and they use them for putting on the ladies nails and it just looks absolutely wacky it really does and it's just a different level of fashion that m most people wouldn't think of and good enough and i'm happy for them but i use it for um flocking which is this year and as you can see yeah this looks very patchy and very rough at the moment because i've only put one layer of flocking on and i need to put more layers on um, but it takes it's very time consuming so I wanted to show you it before I put any any more layers on because you can actually see exactly what it looks like you know when I said the first layer on and as you can see it there it's very patchy and very ooh ah really um, but you get the idea of where I'm going with this and flocking can really give a model the next level of realism and give it a really good depth of uh, appreciation I've also put the gear stick on and if you look on the gear stick I've also got is uh, if, you, if you can see it there it's also got the gear ratios and uh, I'm overall very happy with the way this has looked but I'll completely flock this off camera because um, it will take me hours to do it but what I am going to do is show you how to do flocking on this one because this one hasn't been flocked you know? but this one has but it needs another layer of flocking on it and as you can see um, it's it looks okay ish but it needs another layer or two and that's something i'll do off camera just bring it a bit closer i've also detailed both the car doors and um that needs uh chrome in and so does that and so does that but i'm waiting for the chrome to come in and um, i've highlighted the bird and all the rest of it and this black line around here that i thought was black is actually chrome as well so that needs chrome in so getting on with flocking so like i said what you need for flocking is basically um a little tub of water a little um, just a little bowl or a little tub obviously your flocking powder and if you just go onto ebay or amazon or any other um beauty salon place they'll, they'll they'll have these available and they're absolutely dirt cheap guys you get them in um 
very small bags you know and um, they're only like a two pound a bag and uh, these are really good for doing carpeting in models and it's very easy to, to apply on so you need your flocking powder um, you need a brush to apply your glue and I use my famous micro crystal glue wonderful stuff here yeah. when this dries it is perfectly clear so you need those you need this, a sieve and this is an old uh, tea sieve that I had lying around and it's absolutely perfect for doing flocking and obviously you need some sort of container to catch all the fibers which you will see in a minute so the first thing we have to do is load up our tea brush just arrange my little work desk here and all we simply do is just simply just just simply just fill it up like that and as you can see I've now got some nice bit of flocking powder in there I'll we'll close that and put it one side and then we get uh, what we want to flock oh yeah I forgot to say as well you're going to need one of these brushes yeah this is another wonderful beauty brush uh, and these are for doing ladies um, I do believe it's for doing eyeshadow or doing their eyes or something like that but it's a really soft and really smooth brush and it's perfect for doing flocking you know um, so we get our crystal clear and we get our brush and the area we're going to flock will be this one here just the same on the other one and we just get a nice whack of glue and then we're just going to put it on here like this I never really thought of um, flocking before obviously if you get a mistake like that then just wipe it off you know Flocking really can take, um, especially for people that build a lot of cars, um, it really can take your model to the next level. And I can't remember where I've exactly seen it, um, but I have seen it on a couple of other online um, tutorials. So just if you just type in flocking, yeah, you'll see absolutely there's loads of um, people that do flocking, you know. Don't worry when you put your flocking paint, um, glue on your crystal clear on don't worry about if you put too much on because it just sorts itself out it really does that's why I love um, crystal clear so much because it, it just sorts itself out in so many ways and when it when it dries it's perfectly clear as well you wouldn't even know that there was glue on there so we're just going to put all those to one side and we're going to seal up our glue because we don't want any of the fibers to get in there And now we just simply do a bit of sprinkling like this yeah i'll show you i'll get as close to the camera as i can guys yeah um, and as you can see powder is going the fibers rather are going on there straight away yeah and then we get our brush and then we just push down with our brush um, some people like to leave it like that other people um, like myself like to push down the fibers because they don't always stick to the glue so I'm just gently just pushing down here on this you know and then we turn this upside down and to get rid of the excess a bit of a tap and there we go that's it now flocked I am going to put some more layers on here and we just brush off the excess and if there's any like there's a bit of a, that line is a bit skew if so we're just going to just move it off a little bit just follow the the line that you know is there and that'll be hard and resolved in about 15 minutes but 
That looks good, that doesn't it? And that's now ready for another bit, another layer of flocking. I'll probably put about two layers of flocking on this and um, get it looking really good and really nice and get it looking the way I want, really. And uh, flocking's uh, just taking your model to the next level. So there you go, guys. I'm going to go off now and completely finish all this. So until part six of uh, Project Firebird, you all take care, have an awesome weekend, and bye for now.